name is Aoife and welcome to this channel. I talk about sexuality, sexual health, relationships, all that good stuff. And today I'm going to be talking about three myths about casual sex using science. I'm talking about casual sex as sex and sexual encounters and relationships that exist outside committed romantic relationships. And as you'll see, that's a little bit more complicated than sometimes society likes to paint it. But yeah. Let's jump right into the video. The first myth about casual sex that I would like to bust is that casual sex always makes people feel kind of gross or in scientific speak, it can be bad for your psychological well-being. And that's not necessarily true. It actually depends on something called sociosexuality, which is how you feel about casual sex for yourself. Scientists have created these two labels. The first one is sociosexually unrestricted, and that means that you feel alright with having casual sex. Sociosexually restricted people prefer not to have sex outside of a committed relationship. So, back to casual sex making you feel kind of gross and not being super good for your psychological well-being. Recent research has actually found that it depends on which category you fall into. People who are sociosexually unrestricted actually have their psychological well-being improved after having casual sex. For people who have restricted sociosexuality, after they had casual sex, their psychological well-being remained relatively stable. So, two morals of the story here. The first one is have the type of sex you want to have. If you like having casual sex, live that life. If it's not for you, don't have it. Moral number two, don't judge people on how they like to have sex, especially in light of this research research that shows that if you are into it, it might actually be good for you. Myth number two is that casual sex is less common in more empathetic, altruistic, i.e. Hufflepuffs maybe have less casual sex, and this is not necessarily true. Recent research found that people who score higher in altruism actually have more casual sex. They also have more sex partners and have sex more often in relationships. This study took a evolutionary perspective and linked this all back to sexual selection. It's super cool, but I'm not going to get into the theory here. If you want to learn more, I have linked this study in the description as well as all the studies that I used to make this video. The third and final myth is that there is no emotional connection in casual sex or casual sex relationships. And this is actually not true. In a super cool recent scientific study, they looked at four types of casual sex relationships and their different levels on passion, intimacy, which is closeness, bondedness, that type of thing, and commitment. And they actually found that overall these four types of casual sex relationships had high passion, makes sense, medium intimacy, and low commitment. Also, another bonus myth here, there are four types of casual sex relationships, and these are the only the ones that were talked about in the paper. And they found that these four kind of had differences in these three factors. So as you go from acquaintance, friend, non-dating partner, and ex-romantic partner, that all three levels increased. So that means that not all casual sex relationships are the same. Again, I have linked this super cool study in the description. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned a little bit about casual sex and it expanded your mind to the possibilities and complexities. Like this video if you like it, subscribe if you aren't already, leave a comment letting me know what types of videos do you want to see from me in the new year. That's all from me. Have a lovely day. Can I title this video, Confirmed Hufflepuffs Have More Sex? Because I think <laughs> science proves it.